wrong. He has that factor yes. about him, but like I think that comes depending on the character and the player, but it's like, how long can you do that? And then he'll bump into players. As you go delve deep into the bracket, you fight players that are doing that 10 times yeah. more, like, you know, go straight to the juggler than you would think. So it looks like Chris has opted for the Akuma mirror here. I actually thought it would, he would have gone for the Luke, but it looks really? like he's comfortable doing the Akuma mirror. Yeah, I think he's a. I think he's fully switched over to Akuma. I don't think he's played Luke in tournament for a minute. He's done a uh, uh, Esports World Cup against Guile and one other character, so he has got the Luke somewhere, but... He might be a bit more comfortable, more com yeah, a bit more comfortable with Akuma at this point. Um, and I think their play styles are actually quite different. Oh, no, 100%. Uh, you know, daigo has got some of the best fireball game with exactly. Akuma here. These guys are probably going to be relying on crouching medium punch a fair bit. We know Chris Wong likes a little bit of a crouching medium punch. Just a little bit. I think uh, a lot of it is actually around the crouch medium punch for Chris Wong. We saw it right there as well. But I said this to Justin yesterday when we were commentating. Hey, crouching medium punches are coming out. They're, they're all there. <laughs> it's almost as if. God button, really. There we go. Now, if these guys are going to opt for a more, you know, fundamental ground game, I think at one point, Daigo done it last week at East Coast Throwdown. you got to uh, mix in the Demon Flip and start spamming the guillotine at some point. Let them know. Yeah, and I feel like it's so difficult to go against Daigo when it comes to the ground game, right? The horizontal game, as you mentioned, uh, because he has such a strong fireball game. And you can see him buffering right now. What exactly is he buffering? There you go. Going to get that conversion into the heavy Tatsu here. Uh oh. And that is going to be the round. Optimal. Long. There you go. Every so often, you got to do it, man. Listen, sometimes all you got to do is backspace Akuma's life bar. That was a mistake. Let me backspace it <laughs> real quick. There's that stand short that Akuma's also so known for, right? Whether it's punish, counter, counter hit, the stand short conversion to dry rush is one of the furthest uh, standing strongs in the game. Yeah. Strong shorts is what I mean. Don't worry. I got you. Five all again. And since it's a mirror match, these guys are going to be employing the same tactic. It's just who does it better, and it, this, is where, <laughs> this is where you need that kind of drive gauge advantage, right? To kind of give yourself a little bit more leeway to make a mistake, force a guess if need be, check a drive rush at some point if need be. Here comes the drive impact. And side switch there from Chris Wong. Yeah, great recognition on Chris Wong's part there, just because Daigo was pressing stand medium kick so many times that one of these DIs were going to come out. Just backs away. They both got level three. Next hit will win it for either player here. His health is literally about to shatter. And there is the conversion for the Beast. And he will take this round with that sip of calamity. Off that sand short once again. And this is the thing, right? You're playing a mirror match. You kind of want to restrict your buttons anyway as to what you want to do. What's going to give you the most mileage in the safest way possible? You mentioned before the crouch and beating punch. Stand like because you've been alluding to as well. Funny enough, you actually haven't seen that many demon flips. Because you mentioned in the Kuma Mirror match, that's kind of what it goes down to, right? The usage of demon flips. I think they're not really abusing the demon flip situation. Maybe because of their skills to the anti air as well. I I'm just a sign of respect to each other. It's like we can. Oh, there's one. <laughs> well, I was going to say, there's no respect in this game. You do what you have to do to take the, take the round at least. I mean, that, if that's the case, we've got to wait for a command grab then. Perfect parry. Demon flip. Yeah, here it comes now. Yeah, it's coming now. Setting up for the whiff punish, too. Uh-oh. Right, so Daigo's had one of three reversals hit, and he has not been deterred at all. He can't be deterred. Oh, well. You can't be conditioned. You, that's not how you want to play the fighting game, right? <laughs> no, this game, unpredictability is one of your biggest assets uh, in this game. You just don't want it to, like, limit your options mm -hmm. in that regard. And he's going to go for a safe jump here, Chris Wong. I feel like Chris Wong heard what we said about the Demon Flips because we've seen so much success right now coming from these Demon Flips. He was building on it. He, he, he was building on it. That's going to be game two to Chris Wong here. And what a piece it will be to these two fine gentlemen. Daigo's ruminating at the moment. I could tell you one thing, but I'm just the backup dancer in this case. What would you as a backup dancer do then? I would not DP. Two DPs have missed, and like Chris Wong, and half of his damage has come from those blocked DPs. I feel like I would say, if you're going to demon flip on me, I'm going to demon flip on you back. <laughs> I think you just, yeah. Well, uh, you know what? Right on cue. Sherry, this is why they bring you on board. <laughs> right on cue. And you can just see the difference in pace in the Daigo now. He's playing so much. These are like three drive rushes in neutral in a row. Air to air, and he's going to get a beautiful conversion here. going to splurge a lot of meter on that. It's a ginormous amount of damage for that Chris Wong. I know it's a Kuma, but... Wood throw again. Just walk up throw, and a lovely crouch meeting kick conversion there. 
from Daigo. There's the round. Yeah, I think he already had in his mind. As soon as he saw the Demon Flip, he was going to do an uppercut anyway. The really cool thing about Demon Flip is that you're able to set up situations with spacing, whether or not you get a whiff punish or even force a whiff DP as an anti air, right? So, hoping to see some of that come out. I think the just the Akuma inside Intel, I think you'd know the Rangers will be comfortable to not DP and try something else just because you don't want to risk that situation. If you're going to give your opponent free damage, don't do it via, mm -hmm. uh, you know, anti air or missed anti air, I should say. Yeah, I mean, we have seen Chris Wong do the air to air, right? And this is. Okay. No, this is good because he's going to take the dry gauge lead just slightly. He can look to burn out Daigo or respect that wake up level two. He, there's a command grab that you mentioned. We've seen it come out. And what a time to do 